Deacon, you there? Another job came up. Ricky, yeah, um, okay, I'll stop by. St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So... We wanted to build days for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to build trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. Looking to buy, Hope. Hey, how's life? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Gonna be here late. Later. Try to make Trevor Deep. a day or two. I'm really Lillian. worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I've seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. 
Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Good to see you. Where? Uh, good choice. Uh, yep. See you around. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. First one. Let me get the gate for you.
Come hey, on. Boozer. How's it going? I got work to do. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Addy, you there? Megan, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about it. Yeah, me too. Stop by, you see it. Okay. Hey, rest. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Megan. Out. One last ambusher, yeah? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen... Then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. <laughs> now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. <laughs> danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Damn, he's getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. Never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Damn truth, they're bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, Cope, just get them right. Shit, squatter patrol. Where the hell did you get the bike, huh? <laughs> This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, 
No matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. <laughs> Not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grass. <laughs> Not a snare, damn it! Bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, you're gonna tell parables, Cope. Just get them right.
Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they... No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, the people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days? No, hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <sighs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already. Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> it's all out to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to him. He can out. What took you so long? Whatever, brother. Let's get this done. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. You might say the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys inside the office. Fucking notes. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something.
There we go. Hey, over here. I think I can boost Get you in there. there. Use this. Ready? Yeah. Up you go. That's all of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. Yeah, there. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. These ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. I got them. Let's hit it. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear! I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? 
Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Yeah, back this way. <laughs> you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honor. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Seems so bad. What's it look like? We're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Go left. Come here. What? He's your man. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? Two lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Stand back. I'm not leaving it for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. This is it. Let's see what's going on here. Still got this. <laughs> 